This video will detail how to set up a dynamic select filtering workflow using select resource components. This example will use multiple select resource components to cascade and filter the values from a vehicle model field based on the value selection of a vehicle make field. This will establish a one-to-many relationship between the models and the corresponding makes. To get started, we first need to establish the resources that will contain the data we will be filtering. Create a resource called make, add a text field called make, and then we'll make three submissions against this resource for our vehicle makes. We'll create another resource called model, add a select component called make reference. Your API property name should be make reference in camel case. And we'll configure the component to support a resource data type. Select the make as the resource and then make as the value property. We should have our three make submissions in the drop down here. Next, we're going to add a text field called model. Now we will make submissions against this resource to establish the one-to-many relationship between the models and their make. All right, after making my submissions, taking a look at my data tab, I have three models for each make, and we've established our one-to-many relationship between our models and makes. Next, create a new form called vehicle registration that will support the filtration. Add a select component to the form called make. Set the data source type to resource. Select make as the resource and then make as the value property. Should see our three makes in the drop down. Add another select component called model. We'll do the same configuration data source type resource except this time the resource will be model and value property will be model and we should see all of our vehicle models in the drop down if we use the form in the current state both select drop downs uh, will carry their respective values however the model drop down will not filter based on the make selection which doesn't help us with the filtering we're trying to achieve. So to fix this, we need to make some configurations to the model component. Open up the settings for the model select component, click the data tab and scroll down to the filter query. And this will handle the logic to remove certain model values when a make is selected. So we're gonna add the following to the query. And this will equate the value of the make reference field within the model resource to the value of the make component data on our vehicle registration form. Next, we're going to select the refresh options on setting and select make. This will ensure the model values refresh anytime a change is made to the make field. And then finally, we'll check the clear value on refresh to ensure any set value on the model field is cleared when a new make value is selected. 
with these changes in place, let's use our form. When we select a make, we should have the correct models display in our model dropdown. When we select a new make, the model field will clear its value, refresh its options, and it should present the new set of values based on the make selection. For more tutorials and workflow examples, make sure and check out the help documentation at help.form.io. Thanks for watching.